Good morning everyone, today I'm sharing my five secrets for easy lightning shots. Let's go! All right guys, I hope you're having an amazing day. Welcome to Zion National Park. This place is absolutely magnificent. It's in the USA, in Utah. You have to come here one day. Look, yesterday I was in the canyon shooting a video on filters when suddenly a thunderstorm arrived. And guess what happened? Well, first of all, I escaped the canyon super quickly because I didn't want to get stuck in a flash flood. And second, we had epic lightning striking all around the mountain. Now, I don't know about you, but back in the days, I used to struggle so much to get lightning shots. I thought it was based on luck, I was trying different methods, it never worked. But then, over time, I figured out a technique and it works every single time. So today, I asked you on Instagram stories, do you want me to make a video with those five secrets? And you said yes, so here we go. Step number one, guys. As you may know, lightning hits super quickly, which means to increase your chances of actually getting the light bulbs, what you want is to shoot at a slow shutter speed. Something like one second, two seconds, three seconds, four seconds is going to be perfect to catch those lightning bolts without relying on luck. Now that brings us to step number two because as you can imagine, when you're going to use a longer shutter speed, well, you're gonna get more light in your picture. So what you want to do in terms of setting is actually underexpose a lot your frame. Your goal is going to be exposing for the light bulb, which is a direct light, super, super, super bright. So for example, the shots I got yesterday, I was shooting at around ISO 400 F 5.6 to 8, and my shutter speed was at 2.5 seconds. That allowed me to actually capture lightning bolts without relying on luck. Really, that made it super easy. Now, depending on if you're in the dark or if you're in bright daytime, you're gonna have to adjust the settings. But remember, get a slow shutter speed, underexposed, gonna do marvels. But now there's a third trick to actually remove completely luck out of the equation. Are you ready? Let's go. In order to remove the luck completely out of the equation, you need this, an intervalometer. Some of you might have it built in your camera. It's simply a function that allows you to tell your camera to shoot a picture every X seconds. The good thing using an intervalometer is that you can leave the camera and it's just gonna take thousands of pictures and you don't have to do anything. Now, last night, I have to say, I was in a car and I tried to put my camera on the dashboard and I just couldn't, I just couldn't get it to stand. So if you don't have an intervalometer, that's fine. Put your camera in continuous shooting mode and just stay pressed with your shutter all the time. I know it's gonna take a long time to get the shot, but I did it yesterday, so there is no reason you can't. So step number four is fairly obvious, but when you're having a tripod and you're out there in the open, please don't stay next to your camera if there is lightning around you. You might get hit by the lightning. I don't think it's really fun. I don't think you get superpowers. I mean, maybe, but I've never seen anyone with that yet. Just put your camera, leave it there and go in a safe place. Maybe stay in your car while your camera captures everything. You don't need to be next to it. Step number five, guys, is simply enjoy the show. Look, nature gives you those amazing opportunities to take cool pictures. But once your camera is set up, grab some popcorn, grab some beer, or water, whatever you want, and chill in your car and just enjoy the show. It's just so magnificent. We spent two hours doing that last night. It was, wow, breathtaking. Now, guys, I'm curious. I wanna know which one of you have tried shooting lightning and which one of you have succeeded? How did you like it? What do you struggle with exactly? What part is difficult for you? I think lightning shots can be absolutely insane if you combine them with nice landscapes. It just gets magnificent. It's something rare to capture also. It doesn't happen all the time and it's very, very, very unique. So make sure you don't miss it next time you see some thunderstorm. Don't go home and watch TV. Get out there and go shoot something new. I'm gonna go brainstorm when I can finish <laughs> my filter video because that was not working out the way I expected. And remember guys, if you like that video, leave it a big thumbs up, share it with your friend. It would mean the world to me and I'm being serious. It means a lot to me when you guys share the content. And remember to hit the S-U-B-S-E-R-E-B -E button and the notification bell. It's gonna make a huge dong. It's gonna be awesome. You're gonna join all the adventures. This is just the beginning of this road trip in Utah. And this is the first video. A lot more is coming up, so make sure you don't miss that. Guys, with that being said, thank you so much for being here and all the support. I really appreciate it. See you in the next episode. Bye.